All right, Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer back with us now. So you've seen a lot of hurricanes. You've been watching everything. I'm sure a lot of people ask you, compared to X, Y, and Z, what does this one look like, right? So uh, there was some discussion of Floyd. Some of us went through Floyd in 1999. Yes. Uh, you remember Floyd? It took a nice turn. It took a nice turn, but it was very scary for a long time because it was coming right at us. So here is a graphic of Floyd. And first off, there is our current hurricane forecast cone. So that's the cone from the National Hurricane Center. And Floyd, if you were here, Remember, the models weren't as good, and so Floyd was coming and coming and coming. In fact, let me plot Floyd on here so you can see. There was Floyd. Wow. Came up like that, and then it got to the Abacos and was really, really a, a bad storm, but it made this turn here right off the coast and then just skimmed the North Carolina coast, and, and I actually chased the storm. I was working in the Tampa market at the time and drove up there following it through Charleston and was waiting for it in Wilmington, North Carolina, and man, it whoosh came on by during the night. A lot of rain with Floyd, but uh, the wind is not the biggest deal there. So there are cases, many cases, where a storm it's close. This uh, storm did Floyd in 1999, a recent event, but history has a lot of examples where it wasn't so close. These are other Cat 4 storms. So uh, just because it gets close doesn't mean it's necessarily going to go to the north and doesn't mean it's necessarily going to go over. So there's a, a little bit of history with four storms coming at us from that direction. Here's our five o'clock advisor winds 115 miles an hour moving west northwest at nine. Pressure is down. I think when the hurricane hunters get back out there, uh, in fact, I think the Air Force plane had a problem and turned around, and now a NOAA plane is coming out. Uh, once they get out there, we're going to find that the storm has, in fact, strengthened even more. There's the future track to the west northwest. The forecast is for Category 4 Sunday afternoon, and then there's our Monday time frame, and then there's our Tuesday time frame, and then there's that turn to the north. So remember all those storms like Floyd. Floyd kind of came in and then went to the north. We're hoping for that because Floyd basically missed the Florida Peninsula there. Here is the two-day loop of Dorian. Dorian uh, coming to the north, and you watch right here at the end of the loop. So it's sputtering along up there, going up to the north, going, going, going. And then as it gets really strong, you can see it senses that, uh, that block, and that makes a sharp turn to the northwest. And then I think we're going to keep seeing that more to the west there. So there was the loop as we went through the last two days, and looking much more impressive now. My gosh, look at it. From even just earlier this afternoon to the present look, getting much more menacing looking and also very, very compact. In terms of the timeline, and people are asking about shutters, I'm putting mine up tomorrow. I think most, especially in Broward, should put them up. Evacuations if needed. Of course, we'll know more about that through the press conferences and the news conferences that are ongoing. And then Sunday in our timeline, it's the last opportunity for last-minute preps, I think. And then Monday, the weather starts to go downhill.